Did you grow up in what you would call a happy house? Was it? I, I wouldn't. I uh -huh. wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, it wasn't like turmoil, right. you know. But it was. Uh, it, there was a lot of stress, you mm -hmm. know, in the house. It was. Uh, uh, you know, my parents were 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 just getting by, and yeah. you know, and you know, at the time as a kid, I thought we were doing great, you yeah. know. But in retrospect, you know, I, I I talked to my mom and learn like what she was making every year and it was like nothing yeah and i couldn't believe it yeah you yeah. know and my dad he was always like you know he, he he had this job when i was a kid he worked for this toy company and the toy company moved they decided to stay and uh he was just bouncing around different things different but, things yeah and then he started a, a one-hour photo store and right before the dawn of the digital age you know <laughs> <laughs> it's like the worst timing and uh, uh i know it'll do it blockbuster <laughs> yeah We're open a blockbuster <laughs> yeah and i would you know I, I would go there on weekends and i literally saw the world changing through from the perspective of that one hour mm. photo store you yeah. know oh my yeah God. yeah being a kid working at your parents struggling family business <laughs> yeah. is something I am very well aware of yeah. that I have plenty of experience with. Yeah. And if you don't know it, you don't know it. It is a kind of like, it's like the first time I ever was in an earthquake and I looked out the window and I saw the street rolling yeah. like the ocean. <laughs> yeah. The paved street looked like the ocean. And yeah. I still question, did I really see that? Wait, what well, was the business? It was uh, building trades. It oh, was yeah, my yeah. stepfather had a plumbing business and, and then my mother uh, was in the kitchen remodeling and and then she did contracting too. But Got it. It, it. She was doing really, really well for a long time yeah. and it was in the... Chicago suburbs where people were building giant grand McMansions with yeah. 30 foot foyers and all kinds yeah, of nonsense. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, just downturns in the economy. She had a builder literally skip the country owing her a oh ton of money. Oh my God, yeah. And you're just there and you know, you know, nobody, like, no, my mom doesn't show me the books. Yeah. But I know, oh, this is bad. Yeah, this as a really kid, you bad. feel yeah. it. You just feel it. And it feels know? like the earth is going to fall apart. Yeah. Like, this kind of something that you relied on, like your parents just, you know, being steady and taking care of you. It's yeah. like, oh, my God, they are they could get swallowed up, too. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, as a kid, I never fully grasped that. You yeah. know, like I, 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 I would hear them arguing down the hall, you know, yeah. and not really know what it was about. I'd just be in my bed just hearing them arguing and, you know, and, and you know, come to find out later, it was often about money. You yeah. know, it was often about, like, uh, uh trying to keep this house trying to keep you know keep this family intact and uh, uh and it was you know and also the, the you know immigrants in this new country and you know the pressures of having made this move and then like finding it very hard yeah. you know and i didn't grasp that so much as a kid right. you know uh but uh as i got older i was like oh my gosh that's that's so tough. Yeah. 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 Do you think they ever regretted coming here? Do you think they think they thought like, oh, we should have just stayed in Korea? My my mom. And how old were they when they came here? My dad was in his later twenties, and my mom was in her kind of earlier twenties. And they moved here together. No. Oh. No. Well, oh, okay. well, they met in Korea. My dad moved here to San Francisco, lived in San Francisco. This is before my mom went back to Korea, met my mom who was in college mm. and uh, and came back to uh, uh, L.A. And yeah. then my mom joined him in L.A. Nice. Like, uh, like a couple years later. Yeah. yeah. After she finished school. And my mom was uh, she told me not too long ago, maybe a couple of years ago, that she was very depressed when she got here, yeah. you know, uh, because she didn't speak the language. Yeah. She didn't. My dad was working. I think my dad had kind of sold her on America as this kind of magical place, you yeah. know, and she had watched all the movies and seen, you know, uh, she really wanted to come to America because yeah. of her vision of this country was just like, th you know, these movies that she had yeah. seen. And, and did uh, she know, did she know people that had preceded her to Los Angeles? No. Oh, okay. No, that's the thing. And my dad was the first of his family. Yeah. So, so, uh, and when she got here, my dad lived in this tiny apartment and uh, and was working all the time. Was he at least 
around Korean people? I mean, uh, not. I mean, our neighborhood was where where I, you know, was born and and first lived, which is where they lived. Was it? It wasn't like a Korean heavy neighborhood it was yeah. like every everybody else right, you know? right but we'd go to koreatown yeah and get our food and come yeah, back you know <laughs> she could get her fix of people that actually spoke her language yeah, yeah yeah but she was very depressed she had these two boys and she was in this tiny apartment and and uh and you know as a kid you don't you, you don't know what's going on going on exactly but you feel it you know yeah. you feel it and yeah. you, you you can feel all those struggles and, and over the years I, I felt it you know yeah. but uh but I wouldn't say it was like a, a tough childhood I mean they really they really uh, uh, did everything and they could to to, to give me a, a semi-normal childhood and 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 it felt pretty normal yeah yeah did that create a situation for you where you feel you felt like being around people that were so kind of, well, like you said, depressed and yeah. and stressed that it made you want to make people happy. Like, was that, did that, because I, because it can go that way. Yeah, yeah. You know, it can also go where like people draw into themselves, you know, yeah, but yeah. I think that's a fairly common thing growing up yeah. in a sad household. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so for me. And, uh, you know, it wasn't necessarily like, I think because I was born and raised here and my parents were, you know, uh, raised in Korea and, and it wasn't like I was going to make them laugh. It wasn't like that, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. The, my sensibility and the things I loved were not the same things they loved. Right. You know? But I, I do remember, uh, always like always buying them gifts. And, and even as a young kid, like, Oh, Oh, her birthday's coming. I got to make a really special gift for her, you yeah, know, yeah. and them kind of not being that into it i remember that you know <laughs> like <laughs> like i do Mom. yeah like i'd save up like five dollars to to get my dad this thing and 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 he'd be like why did you spend that money you know uh, like yeah and it was like constant rejection yeah. you know oh boy yeah. <laughs> well that's <a> good training <laughs> oh perfect training <laughs>